I'm not lying. It's sad that a few people speak from the top and then the rest of the people have nothing that have nothing to do with it have to follow. The people from the top know that everyone wants to feel special, so they allow everyone to make up their own pronouns, adverbs, adjectives, and more. This is a complete redefinition of how our language works, but I really would not count on Gen Z for clarity on how to talk. That's a different conversation entirely. Today, I'm specifically talking about the LGBTQRS TV WXYZ community. It's ridiculous on its face that gay people have anything to do with quote transgender people. It doesn't make any sense, just like how they want to add minor attracted persons, aka a pedophile, into the group. It makes the whole entire group look like they are targeting children, and then they start complaining when they say that people are targeting children. Just the same as the they, them, z, zer, peer, chair, bear, dare. All of these people make up their own labels that mean absolutely nothing and everyone knows it. Even the people that were forced into the same exact group as these knuckleheads, lots of people agree with this. But when they go on social media platforms to give their opinion, they get banned. Social media platforms, like before the Elon Musk era, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, and YouTube. It's crazy that the mainstream media would have you believe that there is a consensus on this topic, but they are completely wrong. They instead ignore or work hand in glove with big tech platforms to deplatform any and all opposition to this very agenda. This is what they did in the past with a certain virus in 2020. We can't talk about that on YouTube still to today. That brings us to a major group that consists of gay and lesbian people who do not like the ideology being forced on children, or that group, I should say, gays against groomers but the whole entire idea of being gay or lesbian also. This is because everyone knows that kids need to be left alone to, you know, be a child, not forced to make a decision that will, in fact, ruin their life forever. More like the transgender thing and you cut off your genitals and then now you need to choose if you actually want to be a quote-unquote girl or be a quote-unquote be a boy. Does not make any sense for a child to choose that. The major leaders for this LGBTQRSTVWXYZ community make up a game for children to play to see if they would actually transition and they are actually a transgender. It's called the button game. In it, you picture a button in front of you and close your eyes. If you can change your gender and all of your fantasies would come true, would you push the button? If you say yes, then you're transgender. Congratulations. But there is one problem. Well, Actually, there's many problems. That's a completely different topic entirely, but we can actually focus on the major one. If you think that you are, in fact, the opposite gender, why the hell would you disagree with yourself in this in this made-up fantasy world? It does not make any sense. It's stupid on its face, just the same as everyone that pushes this garbage, not only on kids, but also adults that are confused. This is why groups like Libserve TikTok is very important so they can see where this ideology takes us. But, of course, the major tech sites don't like it because it outlines the exact videos that people have a problem with. Facebook, of course, hates having this on their platform, so they ban it. As if it's not still up on TikTok without being touched, but whatever. That's why Elon Musk buying X was such a great idea. 